Hey guys, I'm Josh Douglas. I want to talk about one of the one of the things I use the most when I'm using my Lowrance and my structure scan, which is essentially my side imaging. When I get to a new body of water, it's between my map and my structure scan, that's what I'm using to really get familiar with the body of water. And one thing I want to talk about when it comes to my to my Lowrance structure scan is contrast. You know, so many of our settings are, are already ready to rock and roll. They're perfect. I keep them in auto setting. But one thing that I'm always playing with is my contrast. And I want to walk you through that real quick and, and why I'm using contrast. Um, essentially, if you take it today, we got Instagram and Facebook and everybody's into photos. And if you, if you put it into perspective, as far as like a photo goes, uh, when I'm working my contrast, I can either blow out my image or I can have an underdeveloped image. And it works a lot like a photo. If there's too much light, it's too white and I can't see nothing. If it's underdeveloped, it's too dark. Contrast the same way. Lowrance makes it extremely easy for us to use that and be changing it on the fly. A lot of things can change my contrast. That's why I'm always playing with it. My depth, my water clarity, these are all variables that, that keep me, keep my finger on the contrast button just to get a better image for me. I'm looking for white spots, hard spots, something different in the water, so I want to be able to see as much as I possibly can. So really, it's quite simple. You can see here, I'm just working these different flats around here with drop-offs, looking for smallmouth up here in northern Minnesota. Uh, we got a lot of grass, some rocks, some drops. I want to be able to see all those. So, so really, it's quite easy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my menu button, and I'm going to go to my contrast screen, which is right here. This would be an auto setting, and that's easy. It's going to sit there and move that around. For me, I like to change that. That's how I get a little bit more of an advantage on the water. And it's real easy. I can either use these plus minuses, or I can, or I can move it like this up and down. But you can see, if I have an overdeveloped photo, that's just way too white. I, I can't see nothing. Uh, again, these are extremes, but that's too dark. I can't see nothing there. What I'm looking for is I want to be able to get this right in the middle there and then slowly fine tune that just by changing with it. I'm looking for these white areas outside the weeds, these little gravel areas, rock piles, uh, transition zones where you see from muck to sand as we're coming off of these, these break lines. And this is all very important stuff, super easy to use. You just got to get out there and train your eye, play with it, contrast up and down. So next time you're out on the water, Fire up your Lorances and get to playing with your contrast on your structure scan. It'll help you definitely help you find those sweet spots and put more fish in your live well.